Elections should be free and thugs shouldn't be at polls and nobody should tolerate it. Hi, I'm here at 1221 Fairmount in Philadelphia and there's a guy with a billy club right here. Um, One of the common uh, criticisms from the left so far has been that this isn't a serious case because the Bush administration didn't file a criminal case and instead pursued a civil case. How do you respond to this criticism? Well, first of all, the Obama administration can bring a criminal case tomorrow. Uh, that is still a the statute of limitations hasn't run. But more importantly, uh, the ballot box, when you go to vote, is serious. If you go and there's armed men, whether they're from the Black Panthers, the KKK, the white Aryan nation, these are uh, things that are very contrary to what we stand for in America. We stand for free and open access to the ballot and not having armed thugs in front of a polling place. Another common criticism is that uh, no voters have come forward to lodge a complaint. Uh, is this true, first of all? And if so, how does that impact the importance of this case? It's false to say that nobody was affected. There's sworn testimony before the Civil Rights Commission from eyewitnesses that voters uh, left there was sworn testimony that individuals were blocked from entering the polling place by the armed men working together. Uh, there's sworn testimony that they attempted to intimidate voters. So it's a falsehood to say that uh, this didn't affect anybody. Uh, you've also come under personal attack for coming forward and, and speaking out. Even at today's uh, Commission on Civil Rights, uh, some, there was some question about your credibility. How do you respond to attacks like that? Well, it, there's other witnesses who are now corroborating the story. That's the first thing. Secondly, uh, when you lay it on the line and testify under oath that this happened, if it's false, then you could always charge me with perjury, uh, and I'll be able to subpoena witnesses. So that's not, that's not a very credible attack, and it, it's also a way to avoid discussing the merits of the case. Would you say that the DOJ is fairly applying civil rights law regardless of color? And how has the division changed since the Obama administration took over? Well, just in this last week, the division refused to object to a racially, uh, intentionally discriminatory plan in Mississippi from a man named Ike Brown, who was already found liable from discriminating against white voters in Mississippi. He wanted to do more of the same. And instead of objecting to this plan as they could have with just a letter, they didn't do it. Instead, they did a convoluted court filing that is more expensive and, and more uh, risky to get any sort of relief. Why should Americans care about this case? Well, is it important? one of the most important things in America is a free election. It's an election where you aren't threatened when you try to vote. It's a bedrock principle of American democracy. And when that starts to break down, uh, it's a very, very sad day.